Hi there, it's uh, Brian here, aka B. Quan Chi, and welcome to the very first episode of the Stuff or Whatever podcast. So this is something new I've been kind of wanting to try, and I did make a little video beforehand on the channel, which I'm on camera too, so if you want to see what I look like and stuff like that, I made a little video, but this is the more formal introduction of the podcast and why I'm doing it and kind of explain some background, whatever. So this is kind of our introduction. So it's something I've been kind of thinking about for a while. Um, I do listen to very few podcasts and I kind of like the YouTube platform in a sense that has like a comment section and things like that. So it's something I just wanted to try and put it out there and see what happens. Because um, one of the things I have my channel for a long time, just kind of, you know, being like a YouTube user, um, subscribe, follow channels, and stuff like that. I did upload content a long time ago. I did used to have monetization on my channel. I did lose it, and now I have it again. So I decided, you know, this is kind of more of a reason to uh, do more and upload more and make an effort to make content. I probably explained that too because I think some of the old history is maybe a little cringy. I did delete a, old, a lot of old videos and stuff like that. So this is going to be more of a storytelling of you know, my history with YouTube um, and why I feel like doing a little bit more with the platform, even if it not be noticed or anything like that. I think my main goals of the podcast is kind of you know, try to have some humor, try to be a little storytelling, try to react to st some stuff too. Um, I feel like to start off, there might be some themes, some um, just like storytelling and stuff like that. But I feel like I have more of an engaging audience who knows um, that can react to, kind of react more to current events um, and kind of like my other interests as well. So. And it's kind of feels like the first day of school where you have to like introduce yourself and th things about yourself and like don't know what to say. But um, yeah, I think other things about me, I, um, about myself, I'm kind of in my, well, I am in my mid thirties. I'm more of a, a kind of, a, I don't know, I feel like it's tossed around a lot, like geek nerd, um, if you like video games and cartoons and things like that. So I guess I kind of fit that uh, label in a sense. And yeah, um, and I think that's going to go into some of the future podcast um, and see what happens because I kind of had some reservations. Like I kind of felt like this is going to be kind of cool. Just got to chill, talk, you know, have a stream of consciousness. But I always felt like it would be better to do with a co-host because I thought maybe just one person might be sad and boring. And so maybe that'll be the the ongoing thing with this uh uh, theme of this podcast is just some sad, boring guy in his mid thirties having a midlife crisis or something. Who knows? But yeah, um, I think what I used to do, um, oh, I can't remember. It's been three years since I actually uploaded something to YouTube, but I think I've been trying to actively make contact like for two years or so beforehand because I kind of kind of felt like YouTubers and stuff like that would kind of be more of a thing. I'm not sure. I kind of fell out of that bubble too, but uh, <laughs> I guess I do start with one of my first early videos I did delete off the channel, but I used to do those Loot Crate unboxings and it used to, uh, if you haven't heard of Loot Crate, I, I think it's still around, but it used to like be a subscription box and you get like nerdy stuff like collectibles and shirts and stuff like that. So I did monthly unboxings with that and I remember it was kind of a fun hobby too, just to kind of like make efforts to make videos and uh, make posts. I could post pictures of um, take pictures of my, the stuff I got and made like social media posts and stuff like that. So even though I, I, I believe I deleted all the Loot Crate videos among other stuff, uh, I think some of the old pictures um, might be on like Twitter and my Instagram. Um, I remember I actually did have a Facebook page for my channel. I just like, got rid of that too. I'm not sure how many YouTube channels like benefit from YouTube, but it kind of felt like too much effort. But yeah, that was a long time ago. And um, it also to go back to monetization, back in the day when you wanted to be a YouTube partner and stuff like that, it was pretty much you just click a couple buttons and agree and stuff like that. And boom, you can monetize as long as you get reach like a cap, like you have to get... Um, I think it was like a hundred dollars uh, and then you can like cash out or how frequent I don't know. But there was like some uh, little things with it that you can't just like 
put like a viral video in Cash Out. Well, that could work too, but yeah. And the reason I lost that is because over the years, YouTube changed your criteria and kind of actually made requirements to become a YouTube partner. Um, I believe, well, um, I'm pr pretty sure because I just got the email like a month ago. Um, like if your channel gets a thousand subscribers and has, I forget the time you have to like get how like 4,000 hours viewed or something like that. It's something like a, a watch time that you have to have like within the past s recent six months. So they had some requirements and I don't know why people subscribe to my channel, but it got to the point like, hey, I can monetize it kind of, you know, hey, who knows? So I kind of just put that ball into motion and now I'm here making a uh, solo podcast and all that. And I'm kind of making the effort. I did actually uh, buy a microphone. I did earlier test the um, audio seems like recording my bedroom works a little bit better and actually AC just come on the first attempt and listening back it actually didn't sound too too bad it is one of the things that did some weird difference in white noise so turn up the thermostat so I don't know some behind the things stuff I'm not sure what other people do probably more professional has like more of a studio with like soundproofing probably better microphones and stuff like that too so this is more of a hobby and see what it goes from there and going back to my uh, YouTube channel like I think one of the reasons uh, probably the most likely reason why it has so many subscribers compared to you know someone who's not really doing anything um, is I made some content for Undertale like, I remember I made uh, what's on a channel, so I'm probably still going to leave it on a channel just because. Uh, but I did make it, like, when I was playing the game, I remember really liking it, too. But I did remember playing the game. I did, like, the genocide route first and then the pacifist. I noticed, like, when you did pacifist afterwards, like, there's, like, a little Easter egg in the ending. I'm like, oh, that was interesting. So I just kind of uh, captured that and uploaded it to YouTube, a simple clip, and then I think that's probably the most viewed channel. And I did make a video where I kind of like voice over and like talked about how to do a genocide run and also how to be the character, like what the hardest boss in a, a game, Sans. Um, so kind of like that voice over game advice and other videos too. Like I did some stuff too, like I collected Funko Pop and talked about, oh, this is my favorite one. I did like different videos that I talked about like, oh, this is my favorite uh, t-shirts, like geek or gamer shirts and stuff like that. So... I don't know. This kind of <laughs> honestly, it kind of feels like someone who's like a preteen would do or something like that. Because I don't know, I kind of like made reasons to make videos, and even though pretty much it was just me uh, uh, setting up uh, or just like talking about stuff, storytelling. Um, kind of, I don't know if it's gonna kind of mesh with what I'm doing now, but I don't know. I, looking at it, it was kind of cringy in a sense, so I did delete a lot of it. I might delete more, who knows, but it makes me wonder too, like if people like obsessively like download videos of whatever YouTube channels thinking like if they become big, they have like the old stuff that might get deleted. Um, like, I don't know, like maybe the cringy stuff too, like people like, hey, I'm going to download this before they take it down and it's lost forever and have it. So I don't know. I think that's kind of interesting to talk about. Oh yeah, and one thing I just remembered about YouTube is back in the day I actually did uh, the cinnamon challenge, which I'm sure is like one of my oldest videos, and I did like a joke about the milk gallon challenge. Like I edited a clip and pretend I like drink the milk, but then I obviously edited it so like when I'm finishing the milk, it's like a different day. I'm dressed differently, different time of day. But funny enough, the cinnamon challenge and milk gallon challenge like can't be fully monetized at least for my channel like it has like the uh yellow like limited uh monetization versus like the green one so i thought that was kind of weird like starting to put monetization back on my channel again um thought that was kind of weird but anyways and then stuff that i kind of want to do more in the future um who knows if things catch on i would love to have a co-host to do something a little bit more engaging something we can on the rift more or have more back and forth because i don't know i do have some ideas about like what to do with this and i have like ideas in the future which i'm not sure if i'm gonna do more with like even like at a side podcast or other type of content i feel like if i have more creative i would love to do 
more like talking about stuff like with more visuals um like editing and stuff like that too and uh, right now um i'm using the default voice recorder on my laptop like this program and i'm trying to get, find a good uh video uh editing thing i found one was like like win video 10 like a weird app that was free um because it's like windows 10 like they had like weird almost like an app store kind of thing because back in the day when I did make videos for YouTube, um, I did use Windows Movie Maker, which actually isn't that bad. It actually works pretty good if you don't do anything really complicated. I'm gonna, I'll probably talk about this movie in the future, but I did go to school and have, in college, have um, Adobe Premiere Pro, and that was really good too. I kind of wish I would have it again, but I'm not sure how, or you can get it for like a good price, but... Yeah, kind of fun, messing around with video editing and stuff like that. And if anyone has any suggestions, uh, there's always that comment, not just for me, but for anyone else interested in doing uh, YouTube or any video editing and stuff like that. And I was like, so I'm like, oh, you have to buy the premium version to get you know the basic features and stuff like that. So I haven't even did much. I just kind of honestly just finished the intro video that I just uploaded probably going to go up the day before this one so i haven't even tried uh doing it something longer in terms of audio and visual but i did got like, kind of got like the little template that you're viewing now so um yeah i got kind of like a simple like visual background because i know with um it just being a podcast is not going to be something visual but something kind of neat to have on the screen for what what i can do so but yeah i kind of wish i would do be able to do more um not sure if it's like how the time for it or the skill level, but for example, you throw out another YouTube channel. I like the um, foot of the ferret. Like I know back in the day, he did work with as editor for Game Theory. Um, he was kind of know the um, what was the uh, a brief history of whatever. Like you were talking about like uh, shows and. I think some YouTube channels and stuff like that, like a really, really old one with like a brief history of that. And I kind of like that style. And if that would be something to replicate and talk about stuff, probably not like for a long-term podcast, which is probably going to be much longer content, but I can talk about certain things and th th stuff like that. So yeah. And then kind of like a pipe dream stuff. Uh, I don't think it's ever going to happen, but I would love to do more in terms of like, t-shirt design it would be something um to do even though i'm not an artist whatsoever but i kind of like i think we need to get make t-shirts like simple designs the kind of like stuff i would like and kind of stuff like that because you know with merchandising and stuff like that i'm not sure how that works in terms of, i've seen like youtube channels do it and i'm not sure if it's like i think it probably is worth it but it'd be kind of like It'd be neat to kind of like design stuff that I would like. And then if other people like it, then that even better. Looking into this, I'm not sure how long these episodes are going to be. Um, I'm just kind of like sitting still. Like, of course, I'm going to like edit, like do my best to edit like uh, cuts. I'm not sure they're going to uh, like awkward silences or me thinking. Uh, but yeah, I think like as things go on, maybe if I'd be a little bit more comfortable, you know, talking um, about stuff or whatever, the name of the podcast, but um, see how it goes because. I'm not sure if it's going to turn into something more or I'm just kind of wasting my time doing whatever. But it's one of those things that if you don't do it, it's not going to come out of anything. So even though it doesn't feel like everything's aligned, like the stars aren't aligned, like how I would like it to be in terms of, um, you know, having like a co-host or more of an audience or, you know, kind of be more of a, more for somebody, I guess. Um, but yeah, I guess, it is what it is, but I guess some other background about me, it's that, um, again, I'm in my mid thirties and also I'm a, a gay man and I'm not sure if that's going to come up too much in the podcast. Um, obviously what I'm wearing in my, uh, intro video, um, kind of makes it a little clear, but I never felt like I'm the really like gay type. Oh, at least not that obvious. I don't know. So my interest, you know, definitely falls with that, but it's like one of those things that like, what makes you stand out at least, you know, more about you and especially if some people can relate. And I think it'd be interesting in, in the future to have, if I do have like more of an audience to kind of give more direct advice or questions or more just overall engagements and see, 
you know, how that comes and maybe it helps people. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I have a really good voice. Who knows? Um, but maybe some people may think of this like an ASMR or like you know, something to go to sleep to because I probably have like a boring voice and stuff like that. So maybe in the long run, this might be one of the sleep inducing videos on YouTube. Who knows? But speaking of that, like a little bit more background about me is that uh, growing up, I did do a lot of speech therapy, um, especially as a kid, um, mostly like especially elementary through middle school. Um, I had the issue with uh, my R's and a lot like W's and I think a lot. Of, I don't think I don't remember as a kid it being as, I don't know, bad or at least not really addressed is that I felt like I had a lot of like stutters and pauses and stuff like that too. Um, but yeah, it was pretty interesting. And I don't know, I'm not sure how the speech therapy is this these days, but kind of just felt like, you know, kind of recite words and stuff like that or play like a board game. And it wasn't really much because I remember, God, it was a, a long time ago, that one movie, The King's Speech, which I, I really like because I really related to it. It kind of, which wish uh speech therapy would be like that like kind of a more purposeful or more you know there's a reason doing these exercises or blah 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 i don't know maybe sometimes that helps you know uh, with speech is talking i think maybe that when i did uh youtube more actively back in the day on camera and things like that that um you kind of just kind of talk and articulate more i think sometimes that's one of my problems too is that you know, I'm not the most talkative person. I'll be honestly uh, more of an introvert and, you know, kind of have like pauses and kind of like think, oh, I have a lot to say. And all of a sudden it's like two minutes and like, oh, I'm <laughs> kind of <laughs> done with what I had to say. So who knows um, if these podcasts would be long, short or whatever. Um, but yeah, I am making an effort. Like, um, like I said, I did get a microphone and I think that might just help with other stuff, too. Um, because one thing I was thinking about is maybe doing more, uh, gaming on Twitch or stream, which, uh, I kind of played around with it a very, very long time ago, but at least I don't give me an excuse. Like if I'm going to play video games, might as well just stream it and maybe archive it on this channel or whatever. So I think this might kind of wrap things up for the first episode. Um, listening to other podcasts, I was kind of thinking it might be longer. I think as they get more comfortable, and get more ideas because I didn't want to like talk about too too much stuff like different interests because I kind of have some ideas for future uh, podcasts. Um, I think some of the naming conventions might be a little the same um, or unoriginal, but we'll see how it kind of like folds out. And like it's one of the things like if you don't do it or make an effort or anything, it's not gonna you're not gonna get built into something if you don't start you know building the foundation. So I did not like to you know use this to, you know people who are watching this uh thanks for watching or more so listening and take advantage of the comment section i think what i really would like for this first podcast is the comment sec section to kind of be more of a forum or like advice like what people do in terms of if they start youtube what they do what tools they use in terms of editing audio video um ideas and things like that kind of like to kind of help each other out and I definitely look out for that so I think that might be one positive thing about this first episode is that it can be more of a discussion on like what people do how to get started um advice when it comes to kind of thing especially like I kind of wish um I could find better video uh editing software or at least edit the audio better I haven't even attempted to edit something long audio like what I've been recording so far. Um, of course, there's going to be some edits I need to do because I'm kind of like, at some moments, it's like sit in silence. Like, what should I talk about next? So anyways, and then, you know, I definitely appreciate if people uh, like and subscribe because I guess that's one of my fears. I feel like I'm going to post this uh, podcast and suddenly a flood of people unsubscribe and I lose my YouTube partnership and stuff like that. Not to say that that's the most important thing in the world, but it's kind of like, I think that motivates me. And honestly, I feel like a lot of the subscribers, uh, like old inactive accounts or bots or whatever, I'm not quite sure. Because I feel like it was very slow over time to get to the thousand subscribers I have today, um, a little more over that. So to subscribe and any 
feedback or anything you'd like to, to talk about, I, I do have my social medias as well. Probably t Twitter would be something I would like to do more engagements of like, hey, what should I talk about or, you know, things like that. So that I have to have like an audience to do that and uh, personality so people actually listen and follow. So kind of a overall just experiment and introduction and I guess most of all just keep me in check like if I'm going to do it, actually do it and see how I feel like just put out there and if I like it, you know, keep at it. But it's kind of like taking baby steps, the new beginning on what I'm going to be do, doing with my YouTube channel. So, you know, again, be nice is my first con uh, podcast. Um, but yeah, hopefully I don't like slur. And like I said, I had like speech therapy. I think like even in my adult life, um, it kind of carries over. I think it's always an ongoing thing. And, you know, some people, you know, have trouble with uh, confidence, um, with articulating or just kind of getting the thoughts out. Because sometimes you're like, oh, I have thoughts about this. And, yeah, I can have an engaging discussion. But when actually the words come out of your mouth, it's almost like, um, <laughs> almost like awkward. But anyways, so who knows what's going to happen? I like to do something more. Um, I'll definitely make updates and things go along, but yeah, I guess like one other thing to talk about what I would like to do is having more, I think it's going to be even simple, like in terms of what the thumbnails will look like and how the videos be, um, edited, but I think it'd be nice to like in the future have like, uh, like a unique intro song or outro song or just kind of more channel art and stuff like that. So it's going to be very basic just cause it's. At this point, just a hobby, but if it becomes something more, then that'd be kind of awesome. But we'll see what happens, but just taking first steps and just getting out there. And if I have fun with no one caring or listening, then, you know, all better for me. But if somebody likes it, if somebody learns, somebody uh, takes away something good from it, um, makes a difference somehow in some small way, then that'll be even better too, so... Thanks so much for uh, listening. Stay tuned for more and hope you all have a great day.